Super Mario Maker. Super Mario Maker is the first official Nintendo game dedicated to making your own Super Mario levels. But that's not what we're here to talk about today. Today I'm going to grumble angrily about one small and insignificant aspect of the game. Sonic's Amiibo costume. Oh, I'm also going to talk about it too. So for those of you who don't know, in Super Mario Maker you can scan Amiibo into the game, and then be able to wear them as a costume. Keep in mind it's a costume so it doesn't actually change the gameplay in any way. Though this isn't the problem here. Let's talk about the most obvious problem. The costume is literally just resized Sonic 1 sprites. I'm sure they wanted to do this so it could represent the most iconic interpretation of Sonic, but honestly it just came off like they took sprites from the game, resized them in MS Paint and called it a day. Not only does this come off as lazy, but it doesn't even fit the art style of the game or even the other Amiibo costumes. What's a 16-bit nicely shaded Sonic doing in a flat colored 8-bit world? This is even more inexcusable when you take into account they already have 8-bit sprites of Sonic used in the past. I get this incarnation of Sonic is more recognizable, but how cool would it be to see Sega, uh, I assume they're the ones who made the costume, if not, they probably had at least a hand in it, to fully acknowledge the Game Gear slash Master System for once. Those were a part of people's childhoods too. But if that was all that was wrong with it, I probably wouldn't be making this video right now. No, we're not done yet. Buckle up, Senorita, Splash Mountain's about to get fucking wild. And by wild, I mean they couldn't even get the animations right either. Girl, get this. Take a wild guess at what you think Sonic's running animation is. Is it Sonic's running animation? Sonic's running animation? Or Sonic's running animation? What I'm getting at here is that they have a lot of running animation to choose from, and they chose freaking rolling. That's right, Sonic the Running Man Hedgehog gets and curls into a ball at even the thought of breaking onto a dash. Why though? Remember, your gameplay doesn't change, so you can roll right into an enemy and still get hurt. So what's the point? Is it to simulate when you press down in the real games and roll into a ball? Sure, but don't you think running when you're running would actually make a bit more sense and would at least look aesthetically better? Also, if you press up on the D-pad, your amiibo character will taunt. What Sonic's taunt, you ask? Looking up. This is something you can at least understand because in the original games you press up to look up but this isn't the original games, this is Super Mario Maker. And in this game you press up to taunt, not look up. It's kind of weird. If they're so dead set on using sprites from Sonic 1, I think it would be cool to play with the fact that Sonic CD uses Sonic 1 sprites and uses signature pose from the Sega CD startup as a taunt or something. But oh, let's not forget. Sonic's breaking animation isn't even his actual breaking animation from the games, it's just a frame of the walking cycle. Thing is, though, this frame isn't in the actual walking cycle in Mario Maker, so they had to make a conscious decision to make it this, not this. That wasn't laziness, that was incompetentness. Now I won't harp on stuff like the choppy animation, though I do feel that they could have actually made an original sprite like everyone else and make the frames around this limit animation style, but that would actually require effort. I also won't harp on the fact that Sonic's swimming animation is just... His ball form again? Because Sonic isn't exactly known for swimming, and the one time he did swim was in Sonic Colors, which... Look at that, he was in his ball form. So even if this was laziness, I'll let it pass for now. What I won't let pass, though, is the music they used. When you beat a level and when you die, music pertaining to the costume is played. They're usually quick jingles. But Sonic's? How long is Sonic's death music? Ten seconds. Ten full seconds of music you can't skip every time you die with him. I get that really the only option they could have done was this quick half second sonic death sound that's just... Or they could have... Oh, what's this? Use the dying music from the 8-bit games. I think this, combined with the 8-bit Sonic sprite I mentioned earlier, would be really cool to see and would just make a more consistent Sonic, because I don't know why they used music from Sonic 3 when the sprite they used was from Sonic 1. Overall, this sprite is not only really unprofessional, but it's the most lost potential that I've seen out of a Mario Maker Amiibo costume, and that makes me scream.